really excited about the show, what we do. Um, nobody else is doing it. Nobody else is doing a community affairs radio broadcast in Central South Carolina. I have some great people that I admire who are doing some things nationally. Um, great shows. Um, uh, but in terms of our local area, which encompasses about 450,000 people, nobody is doing it. And so we're really glad for the position that we've been granted and the privilege of being able to do it. Topics um, that we cover are life. Uh, everyday things that happen in schools, for example, bullying is a crisis. We have a crisis across the state dealing with mental health. There's a crisis in education in terms of the number of dropouts. Um, today, uh, let's do South Carolina, which is where our show is broadcast and you know promoted. South Carolina has a, a dropout rate of 34 uh, percent among African Americans. That is 35 percent among the Latino population. Is 64 percent among whites. Is 34 percent, and these uh, this is a crisis. School and education is a passport to a successful life, but if young people are dropping out then of course obviously they're finding a dead end or they're going to be down a dead road. And one of the things that New Perspectives is, is really working hard to achieve is to somehow reduce those numbers and increase the number of graduates, trying to influence and get people to stay in school, letting them know the importance of it, as well as bringing people on the show who've had negative experiences as it relates to dropping out of school and those who've been encouraged to go back to school and realizing how valuably important that is. And I think that our show does that. I think that this type of broadcasting uh, gives people a platform where they can get a message out to other people. A variety of activities that will highlight the Chinese culture and cuisine will take place in Staley Hall, room 113, beginning at 3 p.m. Here at New Perspectives, I basically focus on booking guests, making sure that I and paying attention to the news, the local news, so that I know who to call and who would like to have in on our show. Also, topics, they, I like the topics to stay relevant to what's going on in the community. Even though we broadcast in throughout South Carolina, it's not just Orangeburg. I want to keep it more community-based and make sure that we're, we have topics that the people can relate to that listen to the show. Most of the guests that come in, we usually somewhere during the broadcast come back around to education because education in our young people in society is very important. It's important to especially people my age, our 19 to 22 year olds, it's important to build those people up because we're the future of this community. So education is one of the main topics. With the information people get on New Perspectives, I like them to just people, especially our younger age group, I like them to get more serious about our local community, our local news, local elections. There should be young people running for those elections too and Mr. Elwood talks about that all the time. We shouldn't have to wait until someone's 40 years old to try to get them to run for a local office. When you, a 20 year old runs for local office, you have 20 years to learn more and more about that position. So, We're seeking young people to come on our air and come on the radio and talk about their plans for their own particular futures and what they envision that will happen um, for their generation. And that's what New Perspective is about.